Let's play video games! Hello and welcome back to Hard On Gaming, where the games are hard and so am I. I'm your host, Big Stiffy, and this episode, it seems to be raining out. Uh, oh god. That's a creeper that I don't want to deal with. Oh god, and a rat's coming after me. Uh, oh, no. Okay, good. Uh, so there's a lot of horrible things out that I really don't want to deal with. Uh, one of the things that I have to get doing is I have to, I have to set up my mining site. What is that thing over there? Oh, that's a Dullahan! Oh god, and there's a wraith. <laughs> That's a big cat. Skeleton horse. Boy, I'm not in a good place. Sorry about that little interruption. I had a call to attend to. So, uh, as you can see, with the rain and everything, I'm not in an entirely good position here. Uh, I have to start setting up an area for me to mine, and oh god, I don't think it's going to be easy with all these mobs everywhere. Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? Jesus. Ah, oh, another one? Come on! Where the hell are they all coming from? Oh, hell. No, come on! That isn't fair. Oh, Jesus Christmas! Where the hell are they coming from? No, oh, come on! Jesus! What the f Fuck. And here I am, I'm on a single heart again, which means my sanity is going to rapidly drop, and at this point I may as well just die. Oh fuck, there's an ogre too. Oh god, this sucks. This really sucks. Uh, what is that? Looks like a mummy. Come on. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, hell. Oh, it's still raining. What the fuck? Uh, well, this isn't exactly the best of situations. So, this is like day seven. I've already died, I think, twice now. You know what? Just for the sake of saving my anus, I'm going into this dimensional dungeon. Because, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Well, there's some trees at least. So apparently in rainstorms, mobs spawn, like, everywhere. Which is just... A goddamn pain in the ass. Oh, hell. This really is not going as well as I had originally hoped. 
And apparently I only have three hunger left, which I didn't notice at first. Great! That is exactly what I need. I need to be stuck on three hunger with no hope of survival. Uh, this area's all dark. Alright. Let's pick a door. So for anyone who's not familiar with Dimensional Dungeons, um, Dimensional Dungeons adds like these tiny, oh Christ, you see that eyeball? Those are monoliths and if they have a direct line of sight to me, they can teleport me to Limbo. Which I really don't want. So anyway, for anyone who's not familiar with uh, Dimensional Doors, it creates these, like, pocket worlds. And these dungeons can span just forever. Uh, you can travel in and out of these uh, Dimensional Doors for just hours and never actually reach the end of them like this here. Now if I had... oh, I do have some building blocks. So many of these dungeons have pratfalls in which if you fall into them, uh, you end up in limbo. And Limbo can teleport you quite a far distance away from where your home is. And that would be a very bad thing, considering that... Uh, why is it so freaking dark? I can't see anything. Um, can I get some light or something? Why is it pitch black? Oh, that area decided to update. Uh, god damn it. I can't fucking see anything here. There we go, finally. Got some light. And the majority of these dungeons have. Uh, these crazy traps and you have to be very aware of your surroundings when you travel through them. Uh, ooh, there's a ladder up here. Um, not exactly a great place to be. Now these dungeons are not procedurally generated, so they're not entirely random. Uh, they do follow a set number of designs. However, some designs are repeated in different ways. Like, you might come across one dungeon and it would seem perfectly safe. Uh, and then you might come across the same dungeon later on and turns out it's full of traps. So you pretty much constantly have to be on guard. And uh, let's see, where haven't I gone? I don't think I've gone through this one yet. Alright, now this, that pressure plate will open up a door. Oh, there's those eyes. Uh, 
However, there's a pressure plate on the other side, which may actually be a trap. And there's no way of being able to tell if it is or not. This is where flight really comes in handy. However, it's not always a uh, surefire thing. And it is pitch black. Uh, can I refresh? No. Why is it so freaking dark? God, these things, these things make really creepy noise when you're near them. Really don't like them. My sanity is going down just by being in here. Uh, let's see, where am I? I guess I'll follow this down. Oh. Oh good, there's a chest here. Uh, world thread, an enchanted book, some iron, which I was in desperate need of. Uh, I don't want to activate that, that's a trap. Um, there is actually a trap there. Uh, what? Oh! Okay, guess I had a little bit of lag there. Um, I don't like the looks of this. looks of this. Now I can put down logs and run across. Uh oh. Oh! Oh god! Oh why? Oh I'm on fire! Oh no! Why? Oh shit. God damn it. I didn't see that fucking tripwire. Oh Fuck, now I'm in limbo. Oh, god damn it. Now, because I'm in limbo, I have to get to the lowest point in the world, and that will teleport me out. Oh, god damn. Why? But there are these stupid floating frickin' eyeballs everywhere. Now luckily you don't take fall damage in Limbo. But unfortunately I can't run because I'm too low on hunger. Oh, here we go. Great. Uh... Now, unfortunately, I'm going to be totally fucking lost and unable to... Oh, God. Why? Oh, why? Why did it have to be a fucking ocean? God damn it. <sighs> Shit. Well, this is the kind of stuff you run into in uh, my mod pack. And now, unfortunately, I am 100% lost. I don't know which direction is north. I don't know where spawn is. I'm totally lost. And these are shark-infested waters. 
fan frickin' tastic. Well, I think I will pause the video and come back when I have found dry land. Ah, uh, it's the dawn of a new day, Internet. And now I am off to dry land. Hopefully avoiding death by being eaten by sharks. I don't care so much about that boat as I do about getting out of this water. Let's see, maybe there is something in here I can use. What's down here? Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything up there. Is there something down there? Or am I crazy? Uh, if I break this, what happens? Nothing happens, okay. What is this? That... That's nothing. Okay. Alright, I'm out of there. So you can see just how dangerous everything in this mod pack can be. And this is only day seven. Already managed to die twice. Uh... Oh. What are you? I th is that a hunter or a shaman? I see there's wild boar, which I don't want to tango with. Okay, sh I guess that's a hunter. Hunters are, are safe. But I don't want to get attacked by those wild boar. Uh, oh, I gotta try and find my way back to wherever it is I started out. Because believe me, there are places far worse than where I was, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh boy. Oh, a little bit of lag. Most of this world hasn't been generated, so it's a little bit laggy. What's down there? Some deer. Oh, and there's a turkey. Oh, hell, but there's a cockatrice. Shit. God damn it. Oh, God, I don't want to be in the water either, because there's sharks. But it's either the sharks, the stingrays, the jellyfish, or the cockatrice, the boars. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Oh, there's a uh, runic dungeon here. Let's uh, take a peek inside and see what I can loot from it real quick. That stupid chicken thing is still following me. Uh, can I even get inside of this? I suppose if I place this down? Yeah, there we go. Oh god, there's a lot of lag. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on. Uh, what can I take from here? Got torches. I can use the bread. I can't really use any of these tools. Ooh, there's wool. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the wool. And I could use these, uh, pantaloons, seeing as how I've lost the ones that I had. Uh, man, what do I do from here? Well, I guess now I'll have to, uh, oh, I'm actually dying. I'm gonna have to eat some bread. I guess what I'll have to do now is I'll have to try and find where I was originally. And hopefully I can do that before nightfall. So, I'll pause the video here and I'll set off on adventure. So... And actually, I think that's as much as I can record for this session, so take care, Internet, and join me next time for another exciting day on Dwarfcraft. And until then, take care, and I will see you in space. I bet you were expecting some sort of fancy outro. Nope. Just this. 
But hey, you know what would be cool? Clicking one of those links below. Yeah, that'd make it cool.